Hello my little goobers, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Ray, and uh, before we start into this video, I wanted to say two things. Uh, please, if you guys like this type of content, like you know, art related content or discussion videos, please subscribe. I will be doing more of these in the future, I assure you. Uh, please hit that notification bell because, you know, this way you don't miss any other videos from me. Uh, leave a like, leave a dislike, leave your comments down below, and, I and any opinions based on this topic, I would love to hear them, I would love to read them, you know, all that kind of stuff. So now that we got that whole section part of the video over with, uh, let's talk about the actual main reason why you clicked on this video. And uh, I also wanted to just know it out there that I'm going to be going in this specific order when I talk about this sort of thing. So I'm going to start talking with uh, why I don't consider myself a professional artist. Then I'll talk about why you shouldn't. And I'm by you, I mean like little kids who are probably watching this video or young artists who haven't who just started their art journey and why they shouldn't call themselves a professional just yet. Um, and how you can actually improve your art and how you can actually become an actual legit professional and that you can also be able to have the proper anatomy, the proper shading, the proper coloring. This also goes for both traditional and traditional, really any medium, really, because, you know, this isn't just for traditional artists, this goes for digital or oil painters or watercolor painters or acrylic too. Um, or gouache artist. Uh, it just goes for any, pretty much everyone in there, in anyone in the art community. You have to have all these certain things to actually become a pretty good artist and to be able to sell your art. Because trust me, you will not be able to sell art if you have bad anatomy, bad coloring, uh, the colors don't match. So uh, I think it's really, really, really important to talk about these certain things in the art community because it's really important because uh, a lot of the stuff in the art community or when you're drawing could possibly become like a future job for you and if you're not very good at drawing you won't be able to make money off of your art okay you, it's just that simple and i've seen recently that a lot of art youtubers don't really talk about this uh, i don't i haven't seen a lot of especially discussion art channels who discuss about these certain topics you know art thieves or jealousy in the art community that type of thing uh, i haven't seen really anybody do that so i kind of wanted to make a video um kind of explaining my personal opinions my experience and you know how you can actually become a professional artist so let's talk about uh, why I don't consider myself a professional artist I do not consider myself a professional artist for lots of reasons uh, a lot of reasons being you know I'm not skilled I still need to learn a lot of things in art to be considered a professional um, and typically with, with a professional they know what they're doing they know what they're doing when they're doing art this goes for anything like a professional chef a professional pilot uh you know a professional professor in some type of career field you know you know what you're doing and that's the one way how you can tell if you're an actual professional and sometimes in art i don't know what i'm doing trust me there are times when i go like what what did i just draw it looks so bad i mean not bad bad but you know it wasn't exactly what i wanted so i just don't consider myself a professional because i still have flaws and failures in my art but i can still look upon those flaws and failures and improve on my art like for example anatomy i am horrible at anatomy like i've been trying to fix my shoulders because my sister was keep on telling me fix your freaking shoulders they look so weird it, not like for anthros but like for humans they just look really weird and i've been wanting to fix them for like a month a couple months now um and i'm trying to been you know making different changes to how i draw anatomy and knees and you know feet and arms and hands and face especially like facial alignment i've been trying to work on that as well and i've also been trying to work on coloring and shading and that's why i've been putting these like little critiques at the end of every freaking speed paint that i do because those critiques actually help me improve. I'm not kidding. Like, I actually want to do a video on this and showing the comparisons from like three, four months ago. Like on my very first video, that little Neapolitan ice cream video that I did, which you guys can find if you go on my channel. I'm not going to link it because it was a really bad video, which is weird. Because that's the video that has my most views. <laughs> and like all of my newer videos have like only a couple dozen. Well, that one has like a like hundred or so. It is very weird. But yeah from you know comparing my artwork from you know a couple months ago especially my human artwork i've definitely taken an improvement in anatomy uh, i'm not good at it still uh, but i'm still wanting to improve on it and i it's like a goal of mine to, by the end of the summer to have at least you know a pretty good uh, anatomy understanding and that's why in my little popsicle challenge i put male as a gender to pick out of there so that if i randomly pick that one i have to i'm forcing myself to draw a male character because when i always draw characters i always force myself to draw female because it's the easy route well at least with the popsicle challenge if i get male i can just draw a male character 
Uh, this way, if I get ma male anatomy, I can be able to draw and improve on my male anatomy. Um, and um, another thing that I don't really call myself a professional artist because um, is because I just don't really have a good coloring technique in my personal opinion. Uh, I still want to improve on my uh, drawing technique so that I can become a much more skilled uh, artist and so this way I can be able to, you know, become an actual legit professional because you can't become a professional. You just have to put it like, you know, dedication to your work and you need to learn all these different techniques because if you don't learn these different techniques, you can't really be a professional because your art won't look professional if you don't know how to shade, color, do line art, um, all those things. And that's kind of the reasons why I don't consider myself a professional, because I do not know those skills 100%. That's why I would like to learn them so when I become, hopefully, an art teacher, I can be able to teach my students how to, how to do those certain techniques. So now that we've talked about why I don't consider myself personally a professional artist, let's discuss about why I do not advise or recommend uh, younger artists, especially if you're like watching this video and you're like one of my main audiences or uh, people who just started out in art and especially if you're going to post your artwork online, not to label yourself as a professional artist. And the reason to that is because a lot of younger artists, uh, they're not fully 100% skilled in all the things that makes an actual artist an artist. Like, you know, younger artists, they're typically like a level one or two or three. Uh, or they don't really know how to do proper anatomy. They don't know how to do proper coloring, shading, highlighting. Uh, they don't know how to do, um, you know, proper backgrounds or, you know, adding different characters or uh, postures and positions. And those things are very, very, very important to drawing because that's what makes a person drawn to a specific drawing and if they really like your artwork you know you can actually be able to sell your artwork but you know i've seen people on online you know especially on deviantart since you have that tab where you can put a student beginner hobbyist or a professional i've seen people on deviantart that aren't professional artists and label themselves as a professional artist when they're not really a professional they still suffer from a lot of you know anatomy problems and i think that's really important because you know possibly this could be a, an actual job opportunity for you you know you can either become like a comic artist or like an animator or a kids ch or a children's illustrator or even an art instructor like how i want to become uh you know it's just all really really important that you know young artists don't label themselves as a professional just yet until they've learned all those skills especially if you are a very entitled artist and think that you are the best out there you know you're like you know the next thing or the next star when you're not you you know you still need to improve and that's really really important in my opinion because you know this stuff art can make you money but if you st if you start selling your artwork when you still have anatomy issues you're not going to make any money and you're just going to waste more money trying to create artwork that isn't going to sell so basically the bottom line is don't call yourself a professional artist yet until you fully unlocked all those keys and traits into becoming a professional artist until you know what you're exactly doing with your artwork. And uh, typically because a professional is someone who knows what they're doing so don't call yourself a professional until you know what you're doing. It's okay to call yourself a student or a beginner. Nobody's gonna judge you. You're, you're gonna learn eventually and I know 100% sure that you can definitely learn how to draw like a professional you just have to learn and uh improve and that's how i'm going to get to my third and last talking point is how to actually become a professional and now on to my final advice uh, and that is how to become a legit professional artist and my advice for those seeking you know help or uh, you know kind of guidance on how to actually get to that level is that all you really need to do is just you know Have confidence in yourself criticize yourself in a positive way uh, Don't let anything get down uh, Just keep on drawing and also go look up tutorials You know there are tons and tons of tutorials online that you can look and even go to your library Go find local artists that have lessons and you know classes and go take them, you know um, Lessons don't really cost that much nowadays, you know Unless if you go to like a fancy college or anything like that, but you know just go out there and explore and go to different art exhibits, you know, ask local artists, you know, that are professionals for, you know, advice, uh, anything really that'll help you get to that level. And just remember, keep on drawing. I assure you, you will get better. Alrighty, with that being said, I hope you guys liked the video um, and I hope you guys uh, don't really get too offended by this. It's just my opinions. Uh, and also, I would, like to, I would like really, 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 really like to hear your guys' opinions on this type of topic. Uh, since it's not really discussed in the art community a lot on YouTube and really any anywhere in general, 
Um, so yeah, if you guys liked the video, please leave a like, please leave a dislike. Um, if you guys would like to subscribe to the channel, that would really, really, really mean a lot to me because, you know, it's a really small channel and, you know, really any support really means a lot to me. And uh, make sure to hit that notification bell so you never, ever, ever, ever miss a video from me and you are the first one to get notified whenever I upload. And if you guys would like to also follow me anywhere else, I upload on DeviantArt and I also upload on Instagram. And if you guys would like to donate to the channel to help support it and uh, to help support me so I can be able to afford art supplies or save up to go to art college, uh, you guys can donate to my PayPal. There's links down below. Uh, I'm also not doing any shoutouts for this uh, week's video because I just didn't do any commissions and I typically give uh, shoutouts to people who support me on PayPal and uh, supports to people who commission me because those people, you know, bought art for me pretty much so uh i guess that's pretty much the end of it if you guys uh want to see more please let me know and um i hope you guys have a fantastic day bye